So this is going to be a very personal and special retro reviews. Making sure I'm not in too deep. You see, today we're going to be hitting Keep on my feet. the irons that got me into the game of golf and more importantly kept me in the game, kind of. <laughs> Right, before we get cracking, Team Al, the spotlight is on you. I want you to comment down below a piece of golfing equipment that you feel played a humongous part in your golf journey so far. And also, why did it play such a big part? I would love to know. And of course, my comment are these irons. So like most people, I started out with the bare essentials. So I had a package set and I wanted to upgrade as I got hopefully better. But I've had so much support from many different people throughout my golfing journey, and this was no exception. I got gifted these by the junior organizer at the time, Alan Morton. Alan, I don't know if you remember, gave me these and said, give me these back when you're on tour. <laughs> Sorry mate, I didn't make it on tour. We thought we'd make a YouTube video instead, much better obviously. So I think it's the perfect time to say thank you Rufford Park for the best junior experience I've ever had. If you guys as well started as a junior, I'm sure you've had amazing experiences as well. Just put a thank you down in the comment section for wherever you played, what they did for you. Spread a bit of a, you know, positivity. And of course, if you're in the Nottinghamshire area, make sure you head on over to Rufford Park where it all started for me. Say that Al sent you. My name should be on the board, hopefully somewhere still. Can't remember what for. Oh. Takes me back to the time where I used to spend many hours, a good 12 hours a day, practicing. <laughs> I don't think I had 12 hours last year. I'd even go as far as practicing putting. Not for very much, I just usually smash drivers on a range, but... I was never short, but I've never been accurate. <laughs> I've been firing golf balls onto Brenda's lap for many years. We go way back. So to go along with the nostalgia, I've messaged my grandma to see if she's got any old photos of me golfing. Not that photo. Chucky. Fashion sense is tingling. Obviously all Tiger influenced, goes without saying. Still feel good to this day. So I thought for something a little bit different, we'd enter one of the uh, closest to pin tournaments on the Foresight system. Unfortunately, we've only got one of three courses installed. decent one to start off with. It's funny you see because this is 139 yards, I mean I'm hitting a 7 iron but this is the kind of time when I was on the golf course just trying to manufacture shots. So shot 2 of 5. We've got to hold it to stand any chance, that's what's leading. Shit. Could probably go even more. Oh, 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 oh. Right, Sam. <laughs> if I hold this and lead this challenge on here, we've got a party. Why did I say that? Last shot, spin soft. I will absolutely take those, except for that one that hit, visited Barbara. So these were actually made in 1999. It was called Super Steel because it was 50% stronger than that of the traditional steel used in the irons at that time. Obviously allowing for a thinner and hotter face. You want Sam? Bit 
have it. So 1999, I don't know if you guys remember, there were these laptop majiggy things, the official name, but the actual screen on it was tiny, but it was like a kid's laptop. I always wanted one. I think it was even in black and white. It was pants, really, it really was. But, memories. <laughs> We're going to cast our minds back to Christmas of 1999. What were the top 10 toys and games? I wanted all of these on this list, especially the Furbies and the Baby Annabelle and the Sleeping Beauty Barbie. Oh yeah. Number one was obviously Pokemon cards. I remember giving my full deck of like 200 Pokemon cards to a kid because I punched him by accident. Can you punch someone by accident? Well, I did, it was by accident. That's what I told my dad, dad anyway. You want Sam? So what else would I have had in my bag at this time? I would have almost purchased a Ping G2. That was the first thing I ever got fitted for. I had these as irons, I had a Cleveland wedge, I can't remember what number it was then, and a Ping answer putter. Still so good. WWF wrestlers, not E, F. Who wants to be a millionaire? <coughs> I remember that used to be a big deal. And the tweeners. Really? So much air time. Look at that for a standard hosel. You pay good money for that now, wouldn't you? I played a few of those in my junior time. So again, another very different style of retro review. I do love to change the pace of these. Keeps you on your toes a little bit. One day I could be running around like a headless chicken. Another time we're reminiscing the good times with a particular golf club. And I've been wanting to do it for absolutely ages. It's just a thank you to everyone that was involved in my junior career. It's very important now, and I do hope juniors these days get the same sort of treatment because it, they were the happiest days of my life. They actually were. So guys, when you can, go and flood the gates of Rufford Park. Send me pictures. I would love to see it because I miss it so much. It's been years now since I've been down there. You will not regret going. Make sure you have the chip butties. They are beautiful and I'm very interested to read your stories down in the comment section guys thank you so much for sticking with me I always appreciate it if you're not a part of Team Al hit the subscribe button and the bell notification follow me on social media Facebook Instagram Twitter and I'm live on Twitch if you want to get more involved in the Team Al community all you got to do is click the link down below for the Team Al discord server come and join the crazy gang see you soon